Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the ECM Def Extended model for today's fourth and final video. Uh, looking at the weather for the next 42 days. Slash six weeks of the UK and for the rest of Ireland as well. Or I am the rest of the UK. I know, but I'll get all that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video of thing was our 6am upload. We've also uh, released Jeremy Friday and attained the 14 day at 2. So check out those two videos if you'd like to do that. Please like, share, so subscribe on the vids. We thank you so very much, Jay Boys, for doing that. This video would normally be released on Saturday morning. But uh, this week, we're actually releasing the uh, second winter 2022-2023 season model roundup, roundup, on, uh, I don't know, on um, Saturday morning. So we get all the long range files together, train the second time this season, and see what they're all showing for winter. And so the upshot is we're releasing this on uh, Friday evening, uh, just this once. Well, not just this once, but, you know... A rare a release on a Friday evening for this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, share, share, by doing that. Thank you, share, 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 for supplying the charts, by the way. Thank you so much, EC. <laughs> right, so we'll get on then, shall we? This is going to get us well into December, by the way. Wow, wow, wow. Let's have a look, man. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I'm uh, going to begin with the week one mean sea level pressure anomaly from the 31st of October to the 7th of November. Remember, remember the 7th of November. I don't know. So, <laughs> I'm so sorry. But it'll be coming uh, week, or next week, I should say. We'll have low pressure in control to the north and west of the country with high pressure down south so it looks very atlantic driven that doesn't it the 500 millibar height anomaly again with below average heights low pressure in the north atlantic above average heights high pressure down across southern parts of europe and again in a coming most westerly winds temperature anomalies are milder than normal uh, next week so another mild week to come not quite as warm as it has been the core upper warmth is getting shunted a little bit further into europe so um i mean we're above average around one to three degrees above north so not quite as warm as it has been but still above average and the uh what am i doing of temptation anomaly from uh or for week one uh for 31st october 7th of november is above average it'll be a wet week next week wet old wicket <laughs> a bit of a November washout, mate. It's only a couple of weeks ago we've been thinking about a November drought. <laughs> Based on these charts, I don't know. Right, so my own wet, basically, next week. Right, that's that one done. Let's have a look at week two. It will be the 7th to the 14th of November. And uh, our low pressure still in control, actually, in the North Atlantic. Plenty of low going on up there. High pressure is ridging through eastern parts of Europe, but I reckon for us it's the low pressure that would be the uh, driving factor. Uh, this would be 500 millibar height to normal. Oh, well, that has, <laughs> having said that, that has the high pressure a little bit close. Look at that. But average heights actually start to build in again from the south and east and center. It's low pressure out west. So maybe a bit of a battle going on between the low pressure to the west and the high pressure uh, to the east, possibly. Let's see what the temperature on each other. I think it'll still be mild. Uh, there we go. So, uh, yes, we're above average for temperatures in those pinky colours. Uh, one three again above average and uh, precipitation wise so still on wet side so I was actually right in my interpretation <laughs> good I do know what I'm talking about a lot of people have bed out but no Gav does know what he's on about so another quite wet week to come there so the first half of November looking proper properly wet and mild here Week three will be, I'm so sorry, week three will be the 14th, 21st of November. Oh, now that's a bit more interesting. 
It's a high pressure begins to build across southern Scandinavia. Look at that. Centred around Denmark and uh, southern parts of Norway and Sweden. That'll be bringing in the wind from like the uh, east or south. It won't be overly cold because high pressure is not far enough north to really tap into the uh, probably cold air from, from like the Urals and whatnot. But it would be chillier, I think, that. Uh, I reckon that will start to bring a risk of the gruesome twos. <laughs> um, um, frog and frost. I don't know. <laughs> frog and frost. It might do. That's about 500 millibar heights. What's going on? Uh, there we go. Above average heights developing across northern Europe, really. So plenty of high pressure in control. Temperature anomalies look like that. So still a little bit on the mild than an average side, but edging down. Down. Um, I reckon that, again, could be... <coughs> oh, sorry, sorry, everybody. I reckon that could... <laughs> sounds like being choked, doesn't it? Sounds like Darth has arrived. <laughs> and, and did a full choke on me. Uh, I'm so sorry. Um, no, uh, yeah, we're sort of above average, but we're sort of edging the temperature down slightly there. And it's going drier as well now as so that area of high pressure begins to um, take over a little bit. Right, that's that one. <laughs> Week four, people's 21st, 28th of November. Hmm, it's rather interesting, isn't it? Above average heights, just sort of in control of the weather. High pressure, actually, as it means. So a pressure anomaly, 500 millibar height. Um, showing, I mean, we're probably back to high pressure, aren't we? We're probably back to above average heights here. Doing lots of dry weather with it. The temperature anomaly is about, well, it's a little bit above, maybe average is slightly above. But only if it's high pressure. I mean, it's November. I would have thought we'd like seeing a uh, gruesome twosome there, which, of course, would be uh, colder. And the mob will struggle to pick that out, uh, the effect that frost and fog at low-level coal would have, you know, sort of the upper-level parameters. So, um, so yeah, you know, we might we might be colder actually under frost and fog, and a dry on average as well. So a wet first half of November, a dry second half to November. Right, week five is going to be the twenty eighth November, fifth of December. High pressure again is in control, centered over top of the UK and Ireland this time. Um, so we're properly under the influence, aren't we? Well, no, I'm under the influence. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm absolutely stone cold, so I've not been very well this week. Um, above average heights are dominating the weather still, so it all looks very anticyclonic. Anticyclonic. And um, the temperature anomaly is only about average now, slightly above close to the warm seas, but I reckon we're getting cold in that air of high pressure by this point. We got too short. We've had like three, three weeks under high pressure. It's probably going to get a bit colder, surely. And the um, the precipitation anomaly, I mean, it's probably still going to be quite dry. It looks particularly dry to our south. Right, last week, then, is week six, which will be the 5th to the 12th of December. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. And there we go, still plenty of high pressure domination. So we're in for a prolonged dry spell here, a midwinter drought, and that setting up, setting up November. Mind you, mind you, we saying that like a couple of weeks ago about the first half of November, weren't we? But uh, high pressure dominating the weather there. The uh, 500 millibar height anomaly is just showing above average heights well and truly in control of the weather. Very anti-cyclonic uh, precipitation. Uh, not about temperature. Now, going a little bit cold over across eastern parts of Europe. That's the first blue we've, we've seen, really, isn't it? The model for us is suggesting, like, bit, bit, um, more than average. I don't know. We're like, how many weeks are we now under that high pressure? Three, four. <laughs> I reckon we would be rather on the cold side by that point, but who knows? And um, the precipitation anomaly is drier than normal. 
um, once again. Right, well, that's it for this week. That was all right, weren't it? That went all right. I thought it was okay. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. So, yeah, we've got a couple of very wet and mild weeks to come. First half of November, switch to high pressure. Second half month should bring drier. And I would have thought cooler weather with it. Uh, maybe the risk of gruesome to some frost and fog. And that might last even into the beginning of December. If you have enjoyed this video, then please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, you'll be able to see future weather content, including future EC 42 days slash six weeks for days, and who won't want to do that? We'll be back tomorrow with a 6 a.m. upload. Be second, winter 2022-2023, see more round weekend forecast, and a 10 14 day or two. Keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you soon. Bye for now.